um, episode 79 of uh, uh, Snug Radio's Retro Lounge. It's uh, it's a Halloween special. I have my uh, Halloween shirt on, as you can see, and I have my Halloween Horror Nights 2023 mug, which I prefer I was left-handed because it's better on the other side. Um, but the nights are drawing in, and the warm drinks are... Uh, there we go. Look at that cute little fella. So... What are we here for? Well, we're here to um, drink warm caffeinated drinks and play some retro games. All that have a little taste of horror to them. Um, some, some, like we played last week, some not horrific in the least. But uh, their story suggests horror. So... Where are we going this week? Well, we're going uh, to... We have three games from the Master System. And uh, we've got a Mega Drive game, a couple of PlayStation games, and a Turbo Graphics game that's in Japanese. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, so that's seven games, if you're keeping track. Um, obviously, games will be listed in the show notes, as always. So let's get over to... To little box uh, whoop, there we go and uh, well let's check out our first game um, so sorted by system then by alphabetical order uh, we will be playing first a game called Ghost House yes indeed Ghost House uh, on the Master System like I say oh Master System's got different Different aspect ratio. So let's just uh, embiggen that a little bit for you. Okay, let's see how we get on with that, shall we? Um, Ghost House. Right, let's look. Uh, where is it? There it is. Okay, so... I was going to say, how's the audio for you? Um, and then it got louder and louder. Now I'm not sure. Because I might just need to set my headphones up a little bit. Oh, that's colourful. I think it's probably loud enough, don't you think? Uh, I'm not playing this. This is just the uh, a track screen. Okay. Oop. Oh, well, I don't know if I've play it, pressed it. Can't jump on that. All right, all right, all right. Ooh. So what have we got? We've got a jump. Oh, oh, we've got a punch in the face. Okay. Jump and a punch in the face. Okay, we can punch it. We can punch it. Can we punch bats? We can punch bats. Oh, but that bat looks a bit high. Can we? Can we? Oh, oh, no. That went badly for me, that, didn't it? Oh! Oh, now I've got a key. Oh, now I'm getting licked to death by a blue ghost. What? What's going on there? Oh! Get off me! Bat shouldn't be that low. Look at that. Look at that. Um, surprisingly, Nutty Cluster's got bad internet. I know, right? What? What? You won't believe it. Won't believe it. And I thought I was going to struggle with my internet tonight because uh, our neighbour's been putting in a fence. Uh, and to say it's been a little unstable today is uh, an understatement. <laughs> I'm sure it's nothing he's doing. I'm sure it's a coincidence. So if we walk along this way then, can we walk? 
What do we do with the keys? We're collecting keys for some reason. What, what are we doing with them? Oh! Do I need to punch it before it... I need to punch it before it fires me. Now, that looks a suspicious looking table, doesn't it? That looks like... Oh, oh, what? I get close enough to punch it in the face. <sighs> Suggestions? Anybody? Anybody? Bueller? So, assuming we keep away from that orange guy, because he's a shitbag. And that's a evil chest by the looks of it. Which, you know, you know me, I generally like chests. I do like the, the speed that he climbs up uh, ladders though, that's good. Oh, what happened there? Right, so why is that? What What's going on? Let's have a look at that again, shall we? Walk along here. Let's push that out of the way. Where do we fall through? By the light. Why is that? Makes no sense. I feel we've come along here, haven't we? Oh, this is where we... Going back the way we've come. Let's go a different way. Can't punch barrels. How low can we go? this oh all right we've got a teleport mirror of some description oh how do how do we see what they are how do we see where it is we fall through um I'm totally lost if you hadn't gathered up there with something in it. Let's Mario that shit. Okay, so I feel we've probably gone round in a circle or gone off one side and come back on the other, maybe. Because I feel this is where we started. I can't punch him, can I? I should stop trying. Now, I felt that was a successful action from me then, but I'm not sure what I did. So I guess you fall off brick. Flame, are they? But if I get them, I don't know. Whoa, cracks in the floor, all sorts. Oh, come on. See, I didn't see any, I can't see why I would fall through that. Yes, things I hit are red things that hit me are not. Yeah. 
Ooh, I can see a little, a wider gap there, perhaps. I think we've seen a fire floor before, have we? Which seems to suggest we've gone a bit further down than I had before. So that's nice. Spider's web. There's enough of that going on in my garden. Run away, run away. Oh, Dracula. Blair. Get off me, punch. Oh, I'm fucked now, aren't I? Don't know what's going on now. Dracula gone back to sleep. So I obviously need to collect something to kill Dracula, don't I? Have I got to look at the floor? <laughs> oh, I've got to look at the floor to see where the bloody cracks are. Why can't I get in this mirror? Disappointing. What's this? I mean, is that good for me? Mm, can't get through that door. You know what? Didn't press record last week, and I've not done it again this week. Good job I'm streaming, but it's a little annoying. I must be out of practice since my holiday. Um, as it turns out, Twitch does record it at a, a resolution that I'm happy with, so it's all right for you, YouTube guys. Uh, are we just going to carry on a little bit longer just to see? Although we're right back at the start again, aren't we? So... Oh! Hmm. 
not count. Oh, yes I can. No, 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 no. So what's the key? Why, 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 why key? Why key key? You would assume it's to open Dracula's coffin, wouldn't you? But why do we want to do that? Because we can't seem to kill him properly just yet. Get up while it... Oh, yeah, fruit picking. Oh, I can't get it. Oh, oh. so we don't really want to, oh, do we? Right, well, I can't make it do anything, so good, I guess. Jump. Right, I need to get him from the other direction, guy. A lot of bats up here. Oh, he's gone now. Jackass. Ah, uh, do you know what? I think I'm done. I think I'm done with Ghost House. Um, like I said last week, these, these, uh, we have fewer games this year because we used them all last year. Little thinking that we'd be still here after, after 18 months and 79 episodes. Um, so we we are doing slightly less uh, um, amount of games. I'm hopefully I'm playing them a little bit longer, uh, and then I'm gonna have to do more research because I won't have any games left for the episode that's going out on April uh, April October the thirtieth, which will be part five of our Halloween special. Um, so yeah, if if you have any ideas, or maybe you watched last year, and we didn't give one of your games the the attention it deserved, um, then let us know, and we might do Halloween revisited for our fifth Halloween show. I'm just making it up as I go along, like Indiana Jones. Um, okay. Let's move on to our second game for this evening. It's called Master of Darkness. Also, if you remember, uh, on the Master System, Sega's... Sega's... NES? System? It's, it's the... Yeah, it's, yeah, it's kind of the equivalent of a NES. Perhaps came out just a little bit after. Uh, okay, let's go, Master of Darkness. Oh, there's a full moon.
full moons normally bring with them butt cheeks. Looks like the Houses of Parliament from here. That's because. Ferdinand Social. Okay. Is this a Japanese game that's been translated? Is it? Killer Vampire. Or oh, was that kill a vampire? I wasn't reading properly. Shit. Caution, caution. Oh, you just had to go and say his name, didn't you? Dun -na 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 na 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 Batman. Hey, yes, can we can we start now? Yeah, be great. <sighs> oh no, are we, are, we, are we Jack the Ripper in? Is is Dracula Jack the Ripper? Or is it somebody else? No, Doctor So. I can't believe they've called him Doctor Social. Doctor Social. I mean. His media is a bit of a mess. Oh, that's quite busy on my old eyes. What have we got? Stabby stab, jumpy jump. There we go. Nope. Wow, I saw it. Couldn't do anything about it. Why is there a boat there? Do I need to? What's that? Oh, can't do anything with that. Let's not take the boat yet. When we die, which we inevitably will, we'll then try it. Oh, wolf missed it. On, you shy orc. There we go. Let's, what's the chat room saying? Let's just pause this. Nutty Cluster, how about a trick or treat wheel for the last Halloween show? If it's a treat, you play a game you like. If it's a trick, you play a mod's choice game. Ooh, I'm not sure about that. Some people might be watching this and might have an idea and send us emails. Um... And if they do, we'll do that instead. But if we don't, we'll we'll chat offline about the trick or treat wheel. Can't get my knife out quick enough to get these guys. Oh, I thought I thought being downstairs would mean that I didn't have any things to fight. But I have. Right, I need three stabby stabs. How do I get up, up the steps? Surely they're steps. Yes, they're steps. They're steps, but I can't step on them very well. Look at that. Way through the step. So, how am I going? Stupid steps. Right, stupid steps. There we go. Oh, it's kind of stabbing him in the ankle. Do you think I can stab him without him shooting me? There you go. In your knees. In your knees. More stupid steps. Um, so it feels a bit... I mean, I'm... A, a lot of games 
took after Castlevania. It feels a bit Castlevania-y to me. Having played Castlevania a couple of times. Come a bit closer. That's it, let me get your knees. Kill the knees. Oh, you see, see? That stair, that, oof, ooh. I stood on that stair. Uh, this looks like stairs down here, yeah. Oh, now what? Now I've got a gun. So, do we... No. Right, now what? You want to go up there? Oh, oh, looks like I do. Don't know what the floating faces are, though. Sounds like I'm not finished a, a, a level. The thing with such a big mug is if you don't drink it, you have to drink a lot quick because um, it goes cold otherwise. I'm a big fan of the ankle stabbing. That's the way to go. I mean, face stabbing also works, but... Ha, stuff for you, dog. I'm down here. Oh, no, a bat. Oh, no! It was all going so well. Maybe I shouldn't have laughed at the dog. Oh, what, oh, what a dickhead! Press a wrong button. Right. So I kind of feel that if possible, we should be looking to um, maybe take the high road where we can. I know we can't it here, maybe, but we can up there. I get these bats, there's just something about the way they're moving that's foxing me. There you go, stitch that Jimmy. So, if we, instead of going in that boat, let's, let's see if we can... See, I've jumped so high, I'm in the status bracket at the top. Oh, and the dog's gone. Where? Guess I can't stand on that green stuff then. Yes, of course, continue, Egypt. Oh, oh, that's not continue. That's start right back at the start. It just lies. That's such a fast bat. Love to know what the floaty faces are for. Boat. No, I have to go up the stairs. But I have to go to the bottom of the stairs to go up the stairs. See, I preferred Castlevania 
for the ability to jump through the stairs and land on them, at least. Ah, uh, makes you go downstairs. Um, so nearly close to this game is called Master of Darkness on the Sega Master System. Got him in the ankles then. Piss off. Those bats right on my tits. Also those dogs. Wow. Come on, come on. Stupid game. didn't use the gun but this guy's got a gun he didn't do that last time did he oh, fuck. I mean this guy takes a lot of damage I've got to admit but even so oh cheeky cheeky bat bastard Don't know why I keep trying it. I don't need that guy. Come a bit closer, fella. Come on, a bit closer. That's it. Oh, I wanted to get down those stairs before that bat came in. But of course, getting down these steps is stupid. Oh, be careful of the white masks. Some might have knives in them. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. That was painful, that.
no. I kept walking after I stabbed him. They also might drop power-ups. Well, I keep walking through them and I don't seem to have got any yet. Just tried stabbing one and that didn't give me anything either. Needs a couple, a couple of goes. Oh, oh, okay. Pick some up. I've got no idea what it was. Oh, okay. See, this is why it's cool to have a nutty cluster watching you um, moderating and shit, because then she can look at the instructions and tell you what you should be doing. Granted, I could have done that before I started playing, but where's the fun in that? That's not how we used to do it. RTFM my ass. Boy. Oh, I gotcha! Love some shite arc. So if I got to the end of stage one, like, like at the end of stage one, it says continue, you'd think it would drop me at the end of stage one, not make me do it again. Well, now we know that those masks drop things, we should go up and get it, shouldn't we? Oh. Oh, what's this? Oh, long, long range. Knifing. That's what we call it, knifing. Bombing. Oh, do we go over or do we go under? I think it went bad for us last time we went above, didn't we? Oh, shit. Can't get up there, gonna have to go upwards. Oh, I wanted, um. I can only fire backwards. <laughs> right. So 
So that's what you mean about having a knife in them. You might have a really cool power up. So if I can I select what weapon I have in the mic? It doesn't look like it, does it? Once I've got a super powerful gun or something, I need to be careful, don't I? Okay. Ah, nearly got me then as well. I was like, I'm just going to jump on this stairs and in nope, nope, nope. Oh, he's fast. Thank you for not killing me. Jackass. Oh, just two of them. All right. Um, however, do I need to go back down to this freaking ladder? Why am I on bombs again? I don't. Oh, I see. Right, okay. So, if I push upwards, it fires the second bomb, uh, the second doobly. The B weapon is a better way of saying it. <laughs> been a long day. Still have to be crouched down to get a dog though. All right, all right. Well, I think we were picking up fire, uh, picking up bonuses and um, extra weapons and shit. It helps. Oh, look how far away I can get them. Oh, yeah. Oh, axe. Oh, axe is better. Should have kept axe. Dog. Whoa, bloody floating women. Assuming that's what they are. Oh, I thought she'd, she was going to have me then. Hey, stop shooting me in the ankles. That's my trick. Oh, you're respawning now, are you? Shit bag. Nope, don't want to go up it this time. Oh, axe again. Axe me a question. Oh, I don't want that. Nice. Oh, don't want to do that either. Do you know what? I'm going to say no this time. Because, you know, I feel we've done plenty of Master of Darkness. So let's stop that. Oh, yeah, we played Master of Darkness for 24 minutes. Wow. Let's mosey on, on to the next game, shall we? Our final Sega Master System game tonight this is called a shadow of the beast so let me hijack you 
Oh, excuse me. Drunk my coffee too fast. Have I finished it? Right. There we go. Instead of distracting me, you know, thinking, oh, it's going cold, I need to drink it. Okay, so, Nutty Cluster, this is called Shadow of the Beast on the Master System. Just in case I start getting stuck or anything like that, you know. Surely it's going to shadow off in a minute. No. It's just called Beast then. Anytime you say a sign like that, you know your summit horror is going on. Oh. Ooh. Right, so I appear to be some sort of goat a punchy goat who punches okay a runny runny punchy goat what am I supposed to be doing I don't know what an out is oh probably should have killed that In a bit, it feels like it's a bit fast. Am I killing these? A and C jump, B punch, B mid air kicks. Right, okay, so there's a mid air kick. Don't know about the objects. Let's quit that. Oh, I keep using that button to jump, and there's no jumping. Because jumping is upwards in this. So we're just trying to get as we're just trying to get as far as we can. Can I go this way? So I should probably jump and kick them, do you reckon? Things are coming off. Look, they're coming onto the screen so quick that my adult aged brain can't cope with having to hit upwards as well. Oh. I can punch them. What's this? That's something I need to jump over. Wouldn't have seen that though. Shit. Now I have to check at things like this. Oh! Can I can I go in? What says home? Won't let me go home. Someone's been stacking stones again. Oh, stop jumping. Oh. Oh, I can't go any further. This is as far as I can go this direction. Oh. Feel home should be. Can I go home now? What did I pick up? Key turns. 
Oh! Rickety wooden ladder! Wow, look, look at that. Oh, no, quit. Still same gameplay though, is it? Yep. I'm finding it really difficult to jump because not my buttons don't do the jumping it's the keypad even though even though Naughty Cluster said A and C a jump I I so I've got punch one of my buttons is punch and the other one is opening that screen but I do have jump if I push upwards. Probably can't go that way. So I need to do a punch and kick. Oh, whoa, whoa. Ooh. It's properly effing with my head. And do you know what? That tune's a little bit uh, annoying. I need to stop pun punching that button, don't I? Just have a look up here before we go any further on. Oh, more ladders. This feels like Pitfall 2. Oh. Oh, well, that's not good, is it? What, what the F? Oh no, they're going to start right at the start again. Well, we know that we have to go this way this time, don't we? What if we do that? I'm losing all my lives, aren't I? Don't take much for him to be jumping because because of the way my keypad goes eight directions, it thinks it's it's going up instead of my fat thumbs pushing it in the wrong direction. Oh, you can't punch a fireball, can you? worried about dropping off there I don't think I can do it oh died quite quick there okay mm. oh yeah that was a total accident fireball or something. Maybe it's this one. Yep. 
let's go downwards this time, shall we? Ooh. Okay. Is that so? Ooh. Oh, 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 shit. Well, that's cruel, isn't it? Drop you on some spikes, but let you still be alive so you can enjoy the pain of the death. So what do, what do we reckon? What do we reckon? Does it restore health? I feel very jumpy. Oh, well that's shit, isn't it? <sighs> do you know... You know what? No! No Shadow of the Beast! Don't give me a jumping power and then make me jump on spikes. No, we're done. No Shadow of the Beast. We're moving on to the Mega Drive. Oh, <laughs> jeez. Right. Mega Drive, for goodness sake. Um, this is a game, do you remember last week we were talking about... Um, uh, that Nutty Cluster had put a lot of games on the list. She, she didn't know what they were or what they, you know, she looked at a list of horror games and didn't really judge them in the way I would. So we're playing games that I've got no idea what they are. Um, and this one's called Stormlord. Sega! And you can see how bad Nutty Cluster's internet is because she's only now saying it's scratched. Even after we finished it and moved on to Stormlord. Um, so when you catch up, Nutty Cluster, this is Stormlord on the Mega Drive. Um, so let's, let's have a look and see if you picked well. Oh, normal is the easiest. Referee, come on now. Right, looks like looks like we're playing as Cohen the Barbarian. All right, so we can't. We have to jump over Audrey then. Let's do that. Wow, things kill you really quick here. Oh, and if you moan about how quick they kill you, they kill you more. Uh, whoa. Oh no, can't get through there. Now what? I want to get back on there, really. <sighs> Fuck off. <laughs> nope, 
So I must need to do something else. Rather than die horribly with sharp things in my head. Um. Alright. What are we to do? So we can't go this way. Car, oh, can we? Okay, can I get out there? Can't get past that though. Disappointing. But there is a massive key there. So, can I? Nope. Oh, oh. So, why can't I pick that up? Ah, oh, it made me jump over that thing. What? Oh, 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 how did I do that? Right, but I can't get any further. So, 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 we're gonna have to go back this way, aren't we then? You gonna take the key off me? You're not. that so what do we do with this oh we avoid Audrey do we pick up an umbrella we can pick up an umbrella that's good what about honey Pick up honey. Did we drop the umbrella? Oh, now. I think the umbrella might be more use. That's annoying. Oh, oh. Let go. Let. I have no control. What are you doing? Drop me right back. Whoa. Where have you dropped me? No, no, leave me alone. I, I'm, I, oh, I do want the honey then. Oh, you, you rebel scumbag. Goal stops me from jumping across properly. Irritating. So can I step on these only twice? Right, how do I? Nope. How do I use the things in my inventory? So none of my buttons are letting me get into my inventory. Um, what are our options? Select doesn't work. Start is pause. Shoulder buttons don't work on the Mega Drive. think I think we might be a bit stuck because I don't have enough buttons so 
down isn't enough. Oh, I shouldn't really walk into them, should I? Open the button for picking stuff up doesn't work. Um. I have no more buttons. This is always a risk with Mega Drive games because there were some six button Mega Drive controllers. In fact, oh, I don't know if it's charged. I do have one. I knew that wasn't going to work. Um, oh, yeah, okay, disappointing. Although it only has three options there, doesn't it? So, so three buttons should be enough. So, why? What is the issue? Okay. Continue from level one. Now, do I need to go back and is it is it a proper? It is a proper continue. Is it best to jump under it or over it? Over it. Nope. Did I get the key? Yeah, I did get the key. Oh, I keep banging my head and it stops me from jumping properly. Nope, don't want to be down here. didn't appear there last time you bastards wow this is horrendous come on I jumped on it in any other game that would have been enough Ooh, okay so we pick up that honey with C. No, oh, that skull stopped me from jumping over. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Well, look. We might need to have a look to see how you use things. Um, I do feel that we perhaps should add it to the um, the revisits list. And it's maybe we might even look at it in episode five of this uh, this special run. Maybe, not making any promises or threats. Uh, okay, shall we move on? Shall we? Shall we? We shall. Um, so, we're moving into our PlayStation games now. A couple, couple of PlayStation games. Uh, the first one is called Martian Gothic Unification, which is another one that Nutty Cluster picked. Um... So I've got no idea. She picked it because it had the word Martian in it. I'm almost certain. That's what happened. Uh, so let's find it and have a look and see what type of game she's picked.
see with with the PlayStation we're getting into the era of games that last longer um and are more involved so it's I know they're still retro but it's slightly at the end of my retro my, oh my <laughs> kid gaming in fact it's very at the end because uh, I could be bounded in a nutshell and count myself a king of infinite space were it not that I have bad dreams four centuries have passed since those words were written hmm? we have begun to penetrate infinite space bounded in our little nutshell spacecraft but we still have our bad dreams I can sense them coming across the midnight of space and read the cryptic circuitry of their ship Decipher all the codes of fear in the hearts of its crew of three. I wish I could tell them that all will be well. But the future, after all, is not so terrible. But that is not in my nature. Is this a lady doing a I Judy Dench impression? Or is this actually Judy each name, Dench? Each individual pain. Khan, Matlock, Enzo. Three are coming. Only two will leave. The bad dreams will always be with us. And now and again, dreams come true. Still none the wiser what to expect. We would be running around a Martian star base of some description. This is Kenzo Uji, Enigma Mission Log, 9 12 a.m., June 17, 2019. I've just crash landed Zeus 19 within two kilometers of Beta Base. Oh, that was careless. The base directional beacon was out of operation, and there was a demon of a dust storm raging. Fire broke out on landing, forcing Matlock, Karn, and myself into emergency evacuation. Oh, shit. That's not good. Diane Matlock. Earth Control Bacteriological Division, 9-12 a.m., June 17, 2019. Beginning investigation of continuous radio silence from Mars Beta Base. I attempted to so, enter airlock 2. So, I've just looked at chat and I see that Nutty Cluster's asking, what's this one called? And I don't know now if she's so far behind she was talking about Stormlord. Or if she's talking about this one, which is called Martian Gothic Unification. We obeyed the secondary director by coming in through separate areas. Sorry for talking over the story, but you could Stay be reading alone. the subtitles. Stay alive. That's what we were told. And that's what we've done. Stay alone, stay we alive. Enigma Mission Log. Martin Kahn. Earth Control Security Division. 9-12 a.m. June 17, 2019. Prime Mission Directive to investigate cause of continuous communication silence from Beta Base. I'm now inside Beta Base. It's still silent. The mission ended almost before it began. Kenzo had to pilot the ship in by the seat of his pants. While the dust storm didn't help, we crash landed close to the base. I think Kenzo made it all right into airlock two, but I don't know about Matlock. Yeah, it was Martian Gothic. See? We entered separate airlocks. In the middle of all the panic. It's an awful lot of background, isn't there? Director. This is what I was meaning about longer, longer, more involved games. They gave you more, the hell that more to play, I suppose. I but the airlocks EVA suit hatches. For and my, uh, for my purposes, a little bit long-winded. Uh, no way out. End report. Okay, so all the reports are ending. Come on. Come on, little fella. Oh, so I've got to walk him. Oh, my controls are opposite. That's better. 
Oh, shit. This is going to be a nightmare. I want you to... Oh, helmet? I thought it was stuck by a storage locker. Oh, is this a point and click? This thing tells more than the time. Ooh, good. What does it tell you? Um, well, I don't, I don't want to break anybody's heart here, but we're not going to be playing this very long. It's certainly not a game I would have played. Um, look, you can't even. Oh, ooh. Game over if the three of your characters ever meet. So if I just put my controller down, I've won. Possible hostile environment. First group, contact your fellow mission members. Contact them how? Come on. There we go. No, I don't want don't want to check out your helmet. Keep your helmet to yourself. What's the green thing right there? What's this? What's this? Nope. Nope. Turn around, you little monkey. Right, so that's the dot. Right, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Wow. Let's open the locker, shall we? There's nothing in the locker. The locker is empty. That's a personal letter. Yeah, well, can I read it, please? It might have information. And we've got a silver bullet. Is a silver bullet? My lucky silver bullet. I wonder if there are any Martian werewolves around. That's what I was wondering, too. Wrapper from an old maid country cottage candy bar. Hm. I could lick off what's left, but I'm not that kind of guy. God, he said off and not out. Um, right, okay. Okay. All right, worth a try. Ah. Oh. EVA suit, tanks empty. Okay, so we're locked in a room. This is like a shit escape room. Because we've got no puzzles to do or anything. Con in airlock and decon Sam One area. Can anyone hear me? Yes. Okay, now let's find out why Vita Base has been signed up for 10 months. Be ready for anything. Matlock, Kenzo, let's get moving, people. Yes, boss. Okay, Karn. Heading into base. Okay. So do we... Can we go out of here now? Yes, we can. Okay. Use that control panel. Decontamination. 
mission sequence completed. I feel more contaminated now than I did before. So much for the decom tan. Decom tan. Um, so, even though I'm not close to picked it, uh, she thinks it's scratched, and I tend to agree with her. So we're going to have a short, short show um, this week. I know I say that every week, but it always turns out shorter than I expected. So where is the control panel for the door? This walking backwards shit. Stop it. That just says open door. Door malfunction. Computer override required. I don't feel that this is the right place to be playing this, uh, but it's not a game I would play on my own either. So, goodbye, Martian Gothic unification. Um. It wasn't nice knowing you. Feel that one gets a thumbs down for tonight's show. But we haven't played the Japanese one yet, so what can I say? Uh, the next one we're going to play, then, is um, Muppet Monster Mayhem. No, Muppet Monster Adventure. I just wanted to say Mayhem because we had more M's in there. So, Mupe, Mupe Monster Adventure. Don't know why I'm trying to skip past the uh, the PlayStation boot up screen. Can't do that. God, what sort of game is this? I mean, I suspect with it being PlayStation, it's going to be some sort of 3D platformer. Running around, you collect things. Wow, a vacation. We're finally taking a vacation. England, Greece, Arabia, Krakatoa, China. Exotic ports of call. And we're not going to any of those places. Instead, we're here at a run-down old castle in the middle of nowhere. Have we played well, this before? I know before? you're disappointed, Robin, but we had to accompany Dr. Honeydew for the reading of his late uncle's will. It's important to be there for friends at a time like this. Oh, but I have a bad feeling about this, Uncle Kermit. I'm sure there's nothing to be afraid of. What's that? Relax, Robin. It's just a tree. Nothing to be af afraid of. <clears throat> nothing at all. I can't imagine anything living here except things that aren't alive anymore. No, no, Master Robin. Uncle Petrie had quite a flair for the dramatic, but I assure you we're perfectly safe. Ah, a monster! Are you all right, Master Robin? <laughs> Wake up again. Oh, what happened? The good news is that you, Beaker, Pepe, and myself are unharmed. What's the bad news? Unfortunately, your Uncle Kermit, Miss Piggy, and the others have been transformed into hideous monsters. Oh, no! See, oh, yes! We managed to escape, and I found my Uncle Petrie's secret lab. 
We're safe for now, but the master's evil energy is permeating the entire village. Everything in the area is rapidly becoming evil, 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 evil. So what are we going to do? I'm so glad you asked me that question, my young friend. Here at Muppet Labs Europe, we have developed some special devices that will Muppet help Labs you Europe. return our friends to their old selves and save the village to boot. First, this power glove is guaranteed to get even the most stubborn evil out of any monster. Once removed, the evil energy is stored in this clever backpack, lest it get back out into the world again. I must still be dizzy. It sounded like you said I would save everyone. The backpack and glove are designed specifically for the amphibian anatomy. Wow, what a coincidence. Don't worry, you won't be alone in your journey. Beaky and I will monitor your status constantly. But I... I think you're forgetting someone again. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Pepe. My apologies. I will take it from here again. I, Pepe the King Prom, will be broadcasting from this convenient little transmitter here to tell you how to get around the village. When you see my face, I will have something to say that will help you out. Together, we will save Carmen again. Kermit? Your Uncle Kermit. Oh, Uncle Kermit. This is what I said, okay? Kermit. Oh, I don't know. I've never done anything like this before. You can do it, Master Robin. Your uncle and all of our friends need you. Well, I guess I could give it a try. Enough with the talking. Get on with the saving, okay? You're a tough frog again. You're a brave frog again. Get the monsters! Get the monsters! Go, 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 go! Good luck, Master Robin! I have good news, okay? Okay. I know we don't like story on this show, but here's the Muppets. I felt you might be all cross with me if I uh, stopped the... This is the hub, okay? From here, you can access all of the entire world, okay? You must, however, have enough evil energy to open some levels. But you also need Muppet tokens to open new worlds for you to explore. Okay. Well, you know, if we have played this before, um, my apologies. But like I say, we've been going eighteen months. We're gonna we're gonna play some games twice. Thing is, I don't think we played it for a Halloween show. I think we played it for some other, possibly movie yeah. tie-ins. This on again. Very familiar. Hola. Hola. As promised, I, Pepe, will be on the air to help you rescue Carmen and the rest of our friends. When you see my receiver, come up and hear what I have to say. Don't be shy again. <laughs> Got things up there. Yeah. This thing about these games, sometimes the way that the uh, the landscape is laid out means you miss things. Come on, how do I get up there? Come on. Can't jump that high. And yet, he's up there for a reason. Oh, we won't be playing it that long for it to matter. I think we know what he was gonna say, don't you?
Oh, best talk to him here though. Nope, not that one. That one. Dude, come on. You should say to the helmet, stick him up again. It only opens if you shoot it. Don't go and spin, you'll just get dizzy, okay? Okay. Three more Waka Waka Werber Amulet pieces, and it will be time to climb, okay? <laughs> B for bonus. Okay. Okay. <gasps> you only need two more pieces of the Werber Amulet. Where we were before that I couldn't get up. Oh no. Oh, no. Oh, there's something jumping up there. That's that's annoying. Um Monster Amulet pieces, you'll be diving in the deep end again. Do mm. you only need one more piece of the Wear Bear Amulet? Amigo, the Waka Waka Whale Bear's power to climb is yours, okay? I am certain you'll stay on top of every situation from now on. Climb up what? Oh, okay. <laughs> you only need two more pieces of the Muck Monster Amulet! Oh, now it looks like I'm right at the edge. Can I? Can I? Can I? It's just gonna send me back down there, innit? Um. Oh, is this where I've had. I know. Oh, we. Two amulet pieces, and you'll be a flying frog in no time, okay? Okay, so how do I get down from it now? Hola. 
like that. Don't think I can shoot them. Um, well, look. We all love the Muppets. Um, but, technically, I could be here all night. So, we need to say, oh, that's cool. Um, but we need to stop now. Don't we? we do we need to do that? Can't keep playing this, can we? Just when we think we're, we're stopping, something interesting happens. Oh, do you only need two more pieces of the nose for it to emulate, okay? Okay. Oh, that's not what I expected. Okay, don't know what to do with that one there. Maybe we have to come back to that. Gonna slide down here? Oh no, we're just gonna fall off. Hola. I read. I feel we might be going back the way we came. Or oh, actually, we're, we're going over where we came, aren't we? Um, but I have a feeling that I've missed some things behind me. So, um, what we're gonna do? Is we're gonna. Oh, how can I turn the camera around? With the shoulder buttons. Glad I asked. Um, have I indeed missed anything from that? I mean, there's all these gardens back here, isn't there? Um, so, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put this one on the revisit list as well. I've saved my game. Um, and maybe every now and again, we might play a few minutes and see how we get on. It might, it might even be a game that we get Nutty Cluster on to play will play and she can she should be like, no, go that way, go that way. No, go that way. Because that's what she does when she's at home. No! What the fuck are you doing? So we're on to our last game of this evening. Um and it's it's a Japanese game. So this could be twenty minutes or two minutes uh, so this is a game called Shiru Sensei um, Sensen sorry not Sensei and it's on the um, the PC engine Turbo Graphics 16 Ooh. okay so Let's see what happens. buttons appear to do anything. Oh, in fact, this... Okay. Okay, so... Let's 
so far so Zelda. going in the air, shall we see what happens? I imagine there's going to be a lot of talking in Japanese, yeah, near it. Are we going to get a weapon or something, maybe? Make you wonder, don't you? Like, oh, I wish I knew what they were saying. Can't get past that. Let's go over the bridge. Can we go into a forest? No. Can we bugger? the buttons do anything. Oh, I've got a jump and I've got a stabby stab. Did they make my stabby stab any stabbier? Oh! Fireballs! Cheeky bastard. what I'm saying. Um, in fact, we're going to go back to this. We're going back to the goodbye screen because it's time to go. Yes. Yes. Um, thank you for joining us for part two of our uh, all October Halloween special. Um, I hope you had some fun tonight looking at some, maybe some games you've never seen before. I'd certainly not seen some of them before. Um, and we've got more next week. Um, so, do you want to email us? Maybe you've got a horror game that you really want us to play. Uh, you can email us. It's retro at snugradio.co.uk. Retro at snugradio.co.uk. Snugradio.co.uk is also the website for all your Snug Radio needs. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, you know. We're on YouTube as Snug Radio. But if you're watching it live on Twitch now on a Monday night from 7 o'clock, then you know we're on Twitch. Uh, we're also on Facebook. 
X. Oh, I hate calling it that. TikTok as Snug Radio. Yep, kill surprise. Um, you can get us anywhere on the internet as Snug Radio. Um, big thanks to Nutty Cluster for moderating. Uh, she's a moderator extraordinaire. She also has a design shop with some super, super cool, fantastic designs for Halloween. Uh, well, for all the time, actually, but she's pulling out the stops for Halloween. She's ink inspiration. There'll be a link in the show notes and um, anywhere this video is. So ink inspiration on Redbubble. And my design shop is The Glorious Idiot. Find me on Redbubble and Threadless as the glorious idiot. Um, it just helps us keep the show going a little bit. And uh, I think that's everything. So, in that case, we'll be back at the same time, same place next week with another Retro Lounge. Uh, I've been back. This has been Retro Lounge. Play something retro. Till next time. Bye.